I'm Larry Anglosano reporting for AvWeb, an aviation consumer here at the NBAA convention in Orlando, Florida. If you fly a cabin class airplane, you probably understand the challenges of keeping the temperature balanced between the front cabin and the rear cabin. And if you haven't, you probably know the challenges of making the air conditioning work more efficiently. There's a company called Jet Shades, and they've got a solution with removable tinted window panels. To tell us about it, here's company founder Kevin Dugan. And yeah, I was flying around in my uh, plane, and boy, was it hot. I'd take off in that thing single pilot, and it's man, it's like 110 in this cockpit, and the sun was just killing me and killing me. So like everybody else, I kept putting stuff in my windshield and trying to block the sun. Well, I'm an engineer, and I started reading the regs, and it turns out the FAA doesn't really want you touching anything in a pressurized cabin, no suction cups, no films, nothing should be on that glass. So I kind of said, Oh, the heck with them. I'll just build my own window. I'll just make an insert, do what I want to it, and I'll just push it into the window. And that was a thought I had about two years ago, and that turned into something that we now call Jet Shades. So Jet Shades um, is pretty interesting because they're designed just to push into the cockpit windows and be removable. So the FAA says, uh, listen, you, you can only tint windows to 30%, and that's the regulation. Well. Because jet shades are removable and they don't require an STC, and we can tint them, these block actually 72% as well as 99% uh, UV, which is the big one, of course, if you're flying, UV is, is pretty harmful. And then it also blocks 79% of infrared, which is heat. So being removable, pilots are allowed to use these while they fly. And the nice thing about um, as well is when you get on the ground, they have a slightly mirrored finish to them, so you can just leave them on the ground. You don't even have to put your foil guards in anymore. They'll just reflect the heat. So you take them, you just push them into your window, just push them into the insert, push them into the windshields, and go off flying, and, and they make the cabin, uh, the cockpit, I'm sorry, really nice and evenly. You guys know what I mean. Sometimes you get the left side pilot is really hot, the right side is, hey, I'm freezing over here. Well, with the jet shades, it really evens the temperature because it doesn't even let the heat enter into the plane. So I often get asked, hey, you know, what are these made out of and you know, how did you come up with this and what makes it so great? Well, they're made out of optical quality polycarbonate, which is virtually unbreakable. It will not shatter. At most, you can bend it, it's flexible, so it's very durable. It's not acrylic, which is an important point because you are not supposed to put acrylic into cockpit of aircraft because acrylic can shatter and have jagged edges. So, with this, we actually have a patented uh, process on it, so it means I can't tell you everything, but I can tell you a little. And the patent process has involved several, several types of substrates and coatings in a clean room environment, temperature controlled, as well as robotics, CNC cutting processes, CAD systems. It's a whole, it's a whole manufacturing operation to produce a jet shade. Um, it's not something you build in a garage, let's just say it that way. And then um, the the nice thing of it, it has this crushable trim designed into it. To, so as it goes in the window, we have certain bite points. So when it goes into your window, the trim compresses against the trim of the aircraft. So we're not using, we're not touching the window. Uh, we're just going against the trim of the aircraft. So it makes it really easy to do. So uh, there's no touching of the other window, which means they're not passing heat to the aircraft window at all. There's about an eighth inch air pocket to it. We want airflow. You'll notice that when you put it in, you'll get a little airflow coming in from the front corner and back corner because pressurized cabins, we are not trying to seal the window. It's very important. So you'll see, hey, how come I, this, this is a little air here and a little air here. It's designed that way because we do not want uh, a, a seal against your aircraft trim in a pressurized cabin. Um, and then, um, Jet shades, you know, they, they come all packaged up. We have a case. Um, people say, well, do I have to remove them from my window? And the answer is, no, nah, not really. Only if you fly at night. That's a good time to remove your jet shades is after dusk. You, you would do them then, but what do you do with them? We have a microfiber case you put them in for their night flights. But that's about it. You can fly with them, leave them in on the ground. It starts to get dark. You just reach up, grab the pull tab, and pop them out. And that's how the jet shades work. Okay, so how do you get them? Well, we right now we sell them direct on our website, which is of course www.jetshades.com. And you go in there and you'll see a catalog. And our catalog are broken down by jets, turboprops, or props. So you just click on the appropriate aircraft. And uh, you'll see things like this. And this is one for a windshield. It goes up and covers the top part of the windshield. And this, of course, is a side window. And, you know, typical range uh, in the propeller area is probably $600 for the uh, cockpit, up to maybe $1,000 
thousand, twelve hundred bucks for a whole plane. So you can get your whole plane tinted windows, twelve hundred bucks if you have like a propeller plane. The jets are a little bit of a different product, a little higher end. We do some different things to it, and there's some bigger windows in there. A Citation can run anywhere from twelve hundred bucks to fifteen hundred bucks for a Citation cockpit. A King Air might run anywhere from a thousand dollars to uh, for the cockpit for the whole plane might be uh, like fifteen hundred dollars. So they're very reasonable um, price product. They're removable and they're the only product that is for the cockpit and that's a big important point there's a lot of inserts you can put in in the cabin but these are for the cockpit to protect the pilot i mean after all i was the pilot so i was all about protecting the pilots uh, thanks for watching us